Bipartite patella. Bipartite patella is a failure of the ossification centers of the patella to fuse. What are the common types of bipartite patella? 1. The inferior pole. 2. At the lateral margin. 3. At the sublateral pole. Here is an example of bipartite patella in the sublateral pole. The accessory ossification center at the sublateral pole remains unfused. In this case of bipartite patella, you can see the patella has two parts. The smaller part is rounded and usually located laterally, and it can be confused with a fracture. Avoid confusing bipartite patella with a patellar fracture. The sublateral pole is the most common type. It's about 75%. Try to get an x-ray of the other knee. It is bilateral in about 50% of the time. Skyline view with a squatting position, which is weight-bearing, may show displacement and increased separation of the fragments. The bipartite patella is usually asymptomatic and it's usually incidental finding on the x-ray it may cause symptoms that mimic those of a fracture. A minor trauma or injury can cause the fibrous tissue between the two segments to become inflamed and irritated. Examination, there will be localized tenderness over the separated fragments, usually the sublateral part of the patella. So the most common presentation is pain at the area of the separated fragments, especially during or after heavy physical activity or sports. Treatment of bipartite patella. It's usually asymptomatic and it does not require treatment or surgery. In general, the most common error with bipartite patella is mistaking the condition for a fracture and fixing it. The patient really does not need surgery. The treatment is usually reassurance and observation. A non-operative treatment should be done for at least six months. Rest, reassurance, and observation, knee immobilizer, physiotherapy, and non This patient will improve without surgery. Surgery is rare and it is done by excision of the fragment if the fragment is small. If the fragment is large and painful and conservative treatment fails, then you can do lateral release of the retinaculum to reduce the traction force on the unfused smaller fragment. This is an example of how you do the lateral retinacular release. We rarely do internal fixation and possible bone graft if the fragment is large and painful. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.